guys, it's Jess and Gunner from Jess is Blessed, and today we will be starting a 10 part series of diapers, of British cloth diapers or nappies, and there is actually 10 diapers in this series. This is going to be the first one, which is the Bambino Mio Mio Solo all-in-one cloth diaper. These were all sent to me by one of my subscribers that lives over in Britain. She sent 10 diapers. Uh, it's been a couple months and I've been meaning to get to the reviews. I've just been super busy. So anyways, this is the first in the 10 part series. I hope you guys enjoyed the review and thank you for watching. Okay guys, this is the Bambino Mio, Mio Solo diaper, and it's their all-in-one diaper. This print is called Lady Bird Ball, and like I said, this is part one of a 10-part British cloth nappies or cloth diapers series. This diaper costs $22.99, and so that means if you were to buy a full stash of 24 of these diapers, it would cost you $551.76. Uh, the weight range of this diaper is 8 pounds plus. They are available in Velcro only. I found at least 24 different prints and colors of this diaper. This is actually what it looks like fully unsnapped. Uh, it has actually a 2 by 3 rise system. And most diapers have a 3 by 3 rise system, meaning there's 3 snaps across and 3 snaps up. This one just has 2 by 3 but you can still adjust the diaper to make it small, medium, and then large by leaving it fully unsnapped. It does not have a crossover snap, just obviously because of the design of it. It has a stay dry material on the inside that feels like a micro suede. Uh, it has a microfiber sewn in insert, which actually has these tabs, uh, which are really neat because that is designed to pull it out like this. So that is what it looks like. So those help pull it out. It is a microfiber insert and I couldn't find anywhere that stated how many layers it was. It feels like four layers but I'm not sure. Obviously it stains easy. Uh, this diaper did stain easy and I have not had a chance to sun it out, so there is staining on the diaper. It does have a back flap right here to prevent any blowouts out the back. And there's elastic on the back and on the legs, just encased leg elastic, regular leg elastic. There is not double gussets or anything. There's a small tummy panel here on the front to prevent any wicking out of the diaper and onto baby's clothes. And then there is this little like pocket right here and that's actually so that you can stuff another like a booster insert into that and then you can stuff that into the diaper. So that's just to assist with putting a booster insert into the diaper. It does have laundry tabs on each side and so you just fold the hook and loop over onto those when you wash the diaper to prevent the hook and loop from snagging on any of the other diaper laundry or any on itself or anything. They seem to stay pretty well and they're the sized correctly for the size of the hook and loop. Sometimes some diapers make them smaller than they should be or bigger and they seem to be the right size. The cover is one layer of PUL and the inside is 85% polyester and 15% nylon. These diapers are made in the UK and it is a family owned and operated business and it was founded in 1997. So there's just a little fun fact for you. I did look at the reviews for this diaper and the average reviews were a 4.1 out of 5 stars. The pros said that it was soft, absorbent, and washes well. And the cons were that it is bulky for newborns, it's hard to get the insert to lay flat inside, and a lot of people didn't like the fact that the sewn-in insert is microfiber. 
It is true that it is very bulky when you have it on the smallest rise setting. Just because it comes across that same issue because there's a one size insert in it. There's just bulk that has nowhere to go when you have it on the smallest rise setting. So like this, you have it on the smallest rise setting. There's actually a lot that wants to stick out the back. And then there's a lot of bulk here in the front. And so when you put this on a baby, it just feels stiff and bulky. I'll put up a size chart that shows you the size of the diaper. It is a longer diaper, so it would be good for long or tall babies. And I definitely would only use this as a daytime diaper unless you added like a hemp booster in it or a bamboo booster, something heavy duty because on its own it won't last most babies overnight. This diaper is available at many places online, Kelly's Closet, Amazon, Walmart, Thanks Mama, and also at BambinoMio.com. This diaper is a diaper that was sent to me by a subscriber. It was not sent by Bambino Mio, but I did go to their website to research the diaper, and I did see that if you sign up for their newsletter, you can get 15% off your purchase. So if you do want to buy some, that would be something good to do. Now my own personal review of the diaper, I personally am not a fan of this diaper at all. I don't like the microfiber. It stains really easy. Uh, I find that it is kind of hard to stuff and unstuff, and these uh, pull-out tabs don't really do anything. Like, they don't, they're just, they don't make it easier to unstuff. In fact, it's just easier to just pull it out. These are pretty useless, as well as this little pocket is just pretty useless. Most all-in-one diapers will have like a stay dry right here so that you can actually just leave the insert like just laying in the diaper if you want to use it that way. This diaper isn't at all and so you have to stuff this in there because microfiber can't be next to baby's skin. So I don't like that aspect of it. And then the biggest thing about this diaper. Not only is it bulky, since Georgia is very tiny and she wears it on the smallest rise, uh, so it ends up bulky on her, but the thing is is that every time she has worn this diaper, it has flipped. This hook and loop panel here has flipped and has rubbed up against her tummy and is like this. When I go to change her diaper, it literally looks like this on her. And there's been a couple times it has rubbed her tummy raw right here. And in fact, one time I was going to do a review on another diaper and I took this diaper off of her and she had a horrible red mark across her tummy. And so in that video, I actually stated that that red mark was not from that diaper that I was reviewing, but from another diaper. And I didn't want to mention the name in that video, but uh, since I'm reviewing this diaper now, I'll let you guys know it was this diaper. I just wanted to let you guys know that it always every time she wears it flips so i don't have her wear this diaper anymore in fact after this review i am going to be donating this diaper because it just doesn't work for my baby and i don't like it i don't have faith in it and i feel like it's very overpriced for what it is it's a microfiber diaper with a pul cover and it's hook and loop to boot. It's just not a good diaper. I would give it a one out of five stars. I am very unhappy with this diaper. So that is basically everything about the diaper. Bambino Mio also does make a line of other products. They have cloth wipes, wet bags, potty training pants, swim diapers, and a lot of their other products might be amazing. Just this one in particular is definitely not. So now I will show you what it looks like on the babies so you guys can get an idea of the fit of the diaper on real babies. So this is what the diaper looks like on Georgia and the fit seems like pretty pretty good you know but when she's been wearing it for a while it flips this part always flips like this no matter what I do 
and this all ends up leaving a red really irritated area right there on her so no matter what I do that this top part just flips and so this is what it looks like on Georgia here's the bottom the insert is kind of bulky in the back since it's an all-in-one it bulks up back there and so it's real bulky in the back and so that is what it looks like on Georgia okay this is what it looks like on Gunner he's on the largest rise but he does have room to grow in it you can see the back isn't nearly as bulky on him since it's on the largest rise and this is what the legs look like. I haven't noticed the issue of it folding over on Gunner, but I actually don't have him wear this diaper since it's a real girly print and he just has a lot of his own diapers. Uh, so I don't know if it does that flip, flippy thing on him, but the waist is actually real big. He still has plenty of room to grow in it. Like he, he has a lot of room to grow. So that is what it looks like on Gunner. This is what it looks like on Kyler, and Kyler is a lot more slender and has wider hips than Gunner. And this is what it looks like on him. He has wider hips, and it still has lots of room to grow. And so that is what it looks like on Kyler. Okay, and this is what it looks like on Maggie. Maggie is on the middle rise, but she is almost on the outside uh, of the waist. And this is what the bottom looks like. So that is what it looks like on Miss Maggie. Here's the legs. Yeah, on Miss Maggie. There we go. Thanks, Maggie. So that is my review of the Bambino Mio Mio Solo all-in-one cloth diaper. There are a lot of things that I like about the diaper, but overall it is definitely not one of our favorites, unfortunately. So I hope that this video was informative and helpful. I hope that you learned something useful. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for tons of cloth diapering information, education, reviews. I do all sorts of cloth diapering related stuff. Please give this video a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the Bambino Mio diapers. All right, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Bye!